answer that question. What if a non-Muslim asks what is Islam? They don't know about Islam. They want to ask you what is Islam. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Simple words. Yes, thank you. Islam is a religion of God. There is no such thing as Judaism and there is no such thing as Christianity. Look, don't be shocked. I reason with you. We want to know from Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, if we can meet him, we ask him, Oh Moses, Hazrat Musa, what is your religion? And I assure you, he can never say Judaism, because that is the term, the word he never heard in his life. This term Judaism was invented long after Musa alayhi salam. The people around Judea, around Palestine, they, when they saw the children of Judah in Judea, the religion that they practiced, the people from the outside, they said, this is the Judaism, is the religion of the children of Judah in Judea. That's how the name Judaism came about. But Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, if you can ask him, he would tell you that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. That's his definition. And one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means a religion of total submission to God's will. The religion of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. If we can have the privilege of meeting him at his second coming, ask him, O oh Isa alayhi salam, what is your religion? I do not expect him to say Christianity because he never heard the word Christ, he never heard the word Christian, he never heard the word Christianity. Look, this is all biblical. The first time the word Christian was ever used in the Bible is in the book of Acts at Antioch. The enemies of the followers of Jesus disparagingly they pointed to them saying that these are Christians, meaning the worshippers of Christ. Jesus is not expected to say that I'm a Christian because if he said I'm a Christian, we can ask him what church you belong to. Are you a Jehovah's Witness or a Seventh-day Adventist or a Mennonite or a Mormon? What are you? Are you a Roman Catholic? What are you? We expect him to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. And one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means a religion of total submission to the will of God. Thank you very much, Sheikh Dida. And I think uh, time is running. And uh, we have just... Uh, the questions that you have given us will be noted and we'll take along to South Africa and we shall individually, individually write you back. Provided that you, in your, let, your, your questioning, you go back and get them back and write your name and addresses on that, le on that questions. Now, Mr. Didat, I want to thank you very, very much for your very interesting talks on uh, Islam. And we have been very, very uh, happy indeed. At least you could make it this evening. And before we close, I would like to thank... Mr. Mr. Chairman, I saw dozens of questions in the box there, and you ended with two. I don't know the people are they satisfied. If they are satisfied, I'm quite happy. I'm an old man of 74. I can go to sleep now. I have another program tomorrow morning. If you people are tired, I'm prepared to go. But I saw dozens there, dozens. I can't understand why in two questions, you know, the meeting is closed. I can't understand. I don't know. I'm very sorry indeed, Mr. Didat, but I think 10.15 and 10, uh, now it's already 10.15. Tomorrow is a working day in this country. And uh, as I said, as I said to you, you can ask any questions, but you ask and let them answer to you directly. You have got time to talk to them. And the meeting is adjourned. You are hypocrite!
Holy Bible, Revised Standard Version. Just open Isaiah 37, and I'll read from here and see whether it is the same. That's all. Verse 1. When King Hezekiah heard it, he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. Yes, I'm following. Yes. And going on to verse 14, Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it, and Hezekiah, and on and on. Word for word the same. Yes. But sir, I'm not reading from the book of Isaiah. I'm reading from the book of Kings. <laughs> These twins are not twins. <laughs> you see, these twins here, they look alike, identical. Page for page is the same. But they are not the same. I mentioned this is the 1952 version and this is the 1971 version of the RSV, Revised Standard Version. And I have here a pilot poison. And you please and you please testify for the audience that you have the true faith in Jesus. <laughs> I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I I'm shaking a little bit. Excuse me. But listen now. You see, you asked me if I believe in Jesus. And I want to tell you, I believe in Jesus as it is written in the Gospels. I don't believe in Jesus as it is written in the Quran. I'm asking him, I'm asking him, if you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. The Quran has different kind of translations following exactly the same principle as when the Bible has been translated. I can prove that reading from this one that was translated by Abdullah Yusuf Ali and reading from this one that we bought in Lahore, Pakistan translated by Mulana Muhammad Ali. Every translation has an Arabic text. In other words, this is what we say is the word of God. The translation is not infallible. No translator is infallible. That means now every translation is the word of God. We say, no, the word of God is the Arabic Quran. That is what we are talking about. But as far as the Bible is concerned, I was dis I, I produced text to say now, one or none. The answer is not given. The Quran denies that Jesus is Messiah. And I believe in the, in the way the Bible says that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he is the Lord. The prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ is of God. And this is the only faith after Jesus Christ, the only non-Christian faith which claims and speaks to the whole world that Jesus is the Christ. Who made us to say that? Muhammad. And your book says that whoever a prophet says that is so, he is from God.